bahati yako ukuenda hapo Aaron <laughs> Mheshimiwa Rais uh, naibu wa Rais viongozi wengine pamoja na viongozi wetu wa dini na big up Elgeo Marakwet Changwe Kigurenon Kimani Arabi Shongwa Mnajua mimi ni ndugu mkubwa kidogo wa Kipchumba Murkomen. Kwa hivyo nikiwa hapa mimi umwambia pia mimi ni mtu wa Embo Boots. So amiga. <laughs> na mheshimiwa rais mimi nilitembea hapa sana wakati wa campaign na nakumbuka hata hiyo economic forum tulikuwa hapa kwa stadium tulikuwa na naibu wa rais na nilikuwa naambia naibu wa rais siku hiyo ya campaign ukija i10 na utembee i10 wakati wa campaign kama iko stress kidogo kama mnaona huko mbele hakuna mwangaza huko kwetu mlimani tulikuwa tukitembea Embu County vile watu wanajitokeza tunajua tuko sawa kwa bonde la ufa tukitembea i10 watu wakimiminika kwa hii uwanja na hii town tulikuwa tunajua tuko sawa kwa hivyo ni washukuru hata kwa ile support yote mlitupewa wakati wa campaign. Na Mheshimiwa Rais sababu mengi amesemwa mimi sitakuwa mwingi wa maneno. Bishop Kimengich ametuhubiria vizuri sana. Na akatuambia tukiitwa na Mwenyezi Mungu tusikize na tujue anatuambia nini. Na Bishop ukatukumbusha pia waanzishi wa taifa letu walituambia tupambane na mambo matatu la kwanza kabisa kitu nachukia sana inaitwa ujinga kama hiyo ya kuiba ngombe ya watu na kuua watu sababu ya wizi ya ngombe hiyo ndiyo ujinga na kutoenda shule wakatuambia tupambane na umaskini na nini ingine na ugonjwa na hizo tumepambana nazo ndio hata mother and baby rais ametuzindulia leo na nimesikia mama wa county anajipanga na sababu ananisaidia bunge akiongea vizuri huko Nairobi tutapangana alafu mambo yako itakuwa sawa. <laughs> Mheshimiwa Rais Bishop pia ametuambia tukiongeleshwa na Mungu. Na wakati alihubiri sijui kama ni wewe alikuwa anahubiria ama ni mimi lakini niliona anatuongelesha kama viongozi akatuambia tuna changamoto mpya isipokuwa hizo tatu za umaskini ujinga na ugonjwa sasa tuko na changamoto mpya ya impunity corruption and tribalism and i thank you bishop because those are our modern day challenges and i want to confirm to you bishop as leaders in this country the last elections signified our determination to deal with some of those ills especially the ill of tribalism ndio maana uliona wa Kenya kutoka mlima Kenya Bungoma Northeastern Kenya mpaka Pwani walimpigia William Ruto na Rigathi Gachagua wa kura pasipo kujali ni watu kutoka sehemu gani ya Kenya hii and i want to confirm to you bishop that as leaders under the leadership of William Ruto we are very keen on doing away with tribalism and ethnicity as a basis of engagement in our political discourse in this country but we have also the challenges of corruption and impunity and those today bishop i can confirm to you and i want to plead with you that even the church to join us in dealing with those two problems of impunity and corruption the debate you hear today about the judiciary And your excellency I must thank you because on 1st of December or 1st of January or rather on the eve of this new year you asked us as a people of Kenya to have a conversation not about the independence of our judiciary but about corruption within the rank and file of our judiciary in Kenya your excellency I want to confirm to you that indeed Article 1 and Article 2 of the Constitution. Article 1 tells us that all sovereign power belongs to the people. 2 says that that power can be exercised 
either directly or indirectly through elected, democratically elected representatives of the people. Your Excellency, you are an, a democratically elected representative of the people, just like we are in Parliament and as leaders. Therefore, what we are doing, the conversation we are having about corruption and impunity in the judiciary has nothing to do with the independence of the judiciary. In actual fact, Your Excellency, you have shown the world through your actions, not by word, but by action, that you stand for the independence of the judiciary. That is why your first responsibility when you took office was to swear in the six judges whom through impunity had someone had refused to swear them in and appoint them to office. You ensured that our judiciary is also independent by operationalizing the judiciary fund and making sure that the judiciary is well resourced. Your Excellency, what we are dealing with and what I want to plead with everybody, including Her Lordship, the Chief Justice, to allow the people of Kenya and the leadership in Kenya to engage with the people of Kenya on. Since the sovereign power belongs to the people, we must continue to have this conversation on whether or not our judiciary is corrupt. How our Nainchi, Ndiyo Wanaenda Mahakamani Hapa Iten, Nairobi, na Kuingineko. Hawa ndiyo watakuambia kama kuna ufisadi kwa mahakama. Na watu wa iteni kwa uliza, hiko ufisadi kwa mahakama. Kenya hii? Hiko? Watu wanajua uibe ngombe ya mwingine, uende uze hiyo ngombe, uende na hongo, kwa judge utaachiliwa. Nikweli zi kweli? That is a conversation your excellency want to have. And I want to encourage, because your excellency have had Many people come for you that you are dealing, you, you are fighting the independence of the judiciary. Your Excellency, stand firm. Stand firm and let us have this conversation with the people. And if I may speak, Your Excellency, to Her Lordship, the Chief Justice. I've had her in more than one occasion telling us that if we have issues with judicial officers, we know where to take them. Yes, Madam Chief Justice, we know where to take those issues. But I want to ask you, Madam Chief Justice, as a head of the third arm of government, you have hundreds of petitions, memoranda, and complaints today before JSC. You have done nothing as JSC to deal with those memoranda, petitions, and complaints against judicial officers. Before you ask us as leaders, who are only representing the views of the people to bring more complaints and petitions. Please deal with those petitions, complaints, and memoranda that are already before the Judicial Service Commission and also in the office of the Ombudsman. Ombudsman. There are many complaints against judicial officers. Nana Frahi Mweshimwa Rais, Sababu Sijaskia Hata Chief Justice Akikanusha ya kuwa kuna ufisadi kwa mahakama corruption is there it is rife impunity is rife in the judiciary your excellency because all sovereign power you are exercising indirectly on behalf of the people and it is the same sovereign power we are exercising I want to ask all of us not to cow from or shy away from speaking against impunity and corruption in the judiciary we agree with all our colleagues, even in those in the opposition, on the independence of the judiciary. And Your Excellency, I know you are the forefront defender of the independence of the judiciary. But that does not mean that you should condone corruption and impunity in the judiciary. Kwa hivyo ni muulize her lordship, the Chief Justice. Kabla tuambie, tuleta malalamishi mengine. Na ni muambie, asiwe na haraka, tunafanya public participation na hawa na inchi saa hii. Na malalamishi, tunapanga, tutakuletea. But for us to have confidence that you shall deal with them before JSC, please first dispense with the complaints that are already before your Judicial Service Commission so that we know you are not part and parcel of entrenching impunity and corruption within the judiciary. Kwa hayo mengi, mweshimua rais, na... 
nataka kwa heshima ni muulize ndugu yangu governor wa Elgeyo Marakwet County aje aseme yake na nashukuru na uendelee kushikilia county venye umeshikilia huyu governor ni governor wa nguvu sio kama yule wako wetu